Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. I just want to quickly show you how I store my ribbon and twine. If you look um, right on the screen, because that's what's there, you can see my foam core ribbon storage. And I do have a video on how I built that. Um, I'll put the link below in my video description so you can check that out. But it's basically a uh, box on a foam core that I put dowels in and the ribbon spools just rest on there. And that's how I keep my narrow ribbon. It also just keeps it from um, from unraveling on me and it does seem to keep it pretty dust free even because it's got the top on it um, along the edge I let the dowel stick out a little bit longer and I'm just gonna grab one of those and just show you real quick let me tighten up my tripod here um, so here I have um, some binder rings let me just see if it's that in frame. There we go. I have some binder rings here and I just put a bunch of shorter ribbons, just scraps like on these little bobbins and put them on the big rings and they hang them up on the, um, on the little pegs as they stick out. And that just keeps them like kind of at the forefront in my mind so I remember to use them. Now the downside to those is they do get dusty and um, that's probably not the best situation. Something else I want to share with you and I love the way this looks but we're getting really dusty down here with my husband's uh, woodworking so I might need to make a little cover for these but these are a couple of bird cages. Um, one I picked up at an antique shop, the green one I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I just put all my lace scraps in there or not even scraps but my lengths of lace in there. I haven't really noticed them to be that dusty but I'm sure they are. I'll just shake them out real good before I use them for anything and I just think it also adds to the decoration in my uh, craft room. So let's look over here on my shelf. I keep my baker's twine and I do have a video on this in a makeup, like a cosmetic bag. Okay. And what I'm going to do is actually I'll pull it off the shelf and I'll show you how I, um, how I have it in here. I used to have it so I would just feed everything out of the holes, but I've actually just cut, now I just kind of take it out though as I need it. I noticed it was getting kind of caught in there because I put extra spools of baker's twine. This is probably only good for about eight spools. Once you cram 12 in there, they don't want to feed out quite so easily, but it keeps them dust free and I can see exactly what I have. And I think that's part of the, um, Oh, hi. <laughs> I got my glasses on today. I think that's part of the problem with our storage. If we can't see what we have, then we tend not to use it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tip the camera up and you can see up here on my ceiling joists, this is how I used to store most of my ribbon. I have a dowel going across and you can see they're dusty. I think you can even see it. High definition, baby. Um, I have my large spools of ribbon on a dowel suspended from a couple of hooks from my ceiling. And, um, that's not the best solution. I will tell you that right now because of the dust. If you're in a dust-free environment, that is a fantastic solution. And, uh, but for me, it's not. And when I had the narrow ribbon up there, cause that's how I used to have all my ribbon though. Sometimes I would go to pull a little ribbon off and they would all just come unwound. And it was very frustrating. Those spools I don't use very often. So, um, it doesn't happen that much, but I'm seeing now that it's getting very dusty. Now that my husband does more woodworking, I'm going to have to come up with a new solution, but I think that's a great solution. If you're not sharing your space with, with a wood worker. I'm going to pause it and we're going to take a look at my ribbon drawers. I've shown you my scrapbooking shelves before and um, I have a couple cubes that are just drawers down here and they're really great for my ribbon. So here I have mostly paper mart ribbons and tool right here that are on spools. So these are in a shallow drawer. I can easily see everything and that works really good for me. This next one I have carded ribbon and um, I put little boxes in here, just, you know, checkbook boxes and things like that, just to kind of sort and make the cards stand up so I can easily see what I have. Because again, if you can't see it, you're not gonna use it. Here I have um, some metallic threads and other ribbons, more like smaller spools. Hopefully that you can see that. Um, just fun little things I like to add to cards. It does keep them dust free and well organized, which are, you know, perfect. And then in these bottom two, like this one is just all scraps and yardage that I bought and odds and ends and bits of Velcro that I haven't used up and cords. And this is kind of a jumble, but it's scraps and ends of rolls. And I could card that and hang them on the end of my uh, other ribbon storage thing. But for now, they're just in there. Actually, the big brandy snifter that I do ask your crafter questions with, that was those, a lot of those scraps were just tucked in there because that's where I used to put all my scraps. So I had to put them somewhere else because of that. And here um, I just have some raveled roses and these were on the shoe organizer, but it was kind of wasted space. And I've got some larger, um, almost like calico 
uh, fabric ribbon, which is just kind of fun. And I picked it up for 10 cents a roll and I figured, oh, you know, I'll use it for something at that price. So that's how I store my ribbon. I do have some, um, I do have some other ribbon in boxes because of their for specific projects. But for the most part, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this pro this, uh, this project. It's not really a project. I hope you enjoyed this uh, storage video. If you have any other storage dilemmas for the craft room, just leave a, um, I don't want storage dilemmas. If you have questions, that's weird. I don't even know where I was going with that. But if you have anything else you'd like to see stored, please leave me a comment below. And um, also check out the storage craft room storage video playlist because I may have already answered your storage dilemma. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's been a long day. <laughs> I wanna thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.